because I'm here to tell you that your build isn't bad. Hey guys, Leaflet here, and we need to talk about this. A post came up by Gato Do Mahawk on Reddit, and it talks about curios. There's a lot of content creators, well, not just content creators, there's a lot of players that are saying like, oh, you know, this build is bad, and this build is, you know, this build is good. Like, it's, it needs to be maxed out to be really good, and these are the sigils that you need. And a lot of it is really unrealistic. And there are a lot of people that say that they they have these kind of sigils. And we're going to talk about it because this OP posted that they opened up 100,000 curios just to get the drop rates on them, right? So they AFK farmed, they hacked them into their account, 100,000 curios just to get the odds. And you know, fine. Like, I, I don't have a problem with that. They're doing it for science. They found out that war elementals are pretty common. And you know how rare those are for, <laughs> for the average player. Supplementary damage five with no plus. It's not that hard to get. It's going to take a while, but it's feasible. Supplementary damage 5 plus are incredibly rare. Even bad ones. And, you know, the bad ones don't matter. What you really want are ones with useful stats on them. Supplementary damage 5s with a good stat are astronomically rare. And if you look at the raw data sheet, I didn't get one until 18,000 curios in. 18,000. I didn't, didn't get another until 17,000 after that, which uh, later on they did roll more, which gave them gave them more with an average of 7,700 curios per good sub five plus. Now, that's a lot of playing. And even if you were to full auto the game, so let's assume the best case scenario. Let's assume that you have a full farming team and you're farming at a 100% drop rate. You don't actually get 100% curio drop rate until you hit Maniac and Proud, which you cannot full auto within the game's systems because you cannot use the assist function in Maniac and Proud. You can in the extreme raids. You would have 8,640 curios. So assuming you instantly kill the boss, the force wait time is, again, 1.5 minutes. And that's for a 1.5 minute clear. Um, you know, in reality, it's more because of all the animations. So the curio drop rate, let's say it's a 50% chance, which is realistic for non-maniac and proud. Like this is, again, assuming that you're not using some kind of bot or an auto clicker. At a curio per three minutes, that means 20 curios per hour. So assuming you AFK farm 16 hours a day, this is a more realistic look at it. So assuming you instantly kill the boss, your force wait time is 1.5 minutes. So it's a 1.5 minute clear in reality because you have the animations and the cutscenes and all of that, you know, all that stuff. And assuming you're you're using the in-game functions, this is 100% legit, no bots, no auto clickers. You're looking at a 50% chance at a curio per three minutes, which is 20 curios per hour. And assuming you AFK farm 16 hours a day because you actually have to be at your computer because doesn't let you go beyond uh, 10. Like after 10, it, like it forces you out. You can only auto, auto 10 times. So assuming that you're awake for that 16 hours a day, you're 320 curios per day, and the game has been out for nine days. So that's 2,880 curios. So a good supplementary damage substat is a 0.013% drop rate. And the odds of getting three of them is 0.8%. 6-6%. Six, six so if you include the mid 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 uh, supplementary damage, then it increases to 4.8%. And so just getting three of any supplementary damage 5 plus in 200 in uh 2880 rolls is 32.7%. But even a bad roll, you know, like slow resist might as well just be zero. But for players again like me, like I play really, really hardcore. Like I've I've streamed all of it and I haven't seen a single one. I, I haven't seen a single one. So like people ha saying that they have three of these with ideal stats is just ridiculous. And then they say things like, oh, you know, I just farmed really hard on the weekend. I, you know, I'm, I, I'm just built different, man. Like I just, I, I farm so hard. Like they're just lying. And you know, that's kind of the sentiment. Like I agree with the OP here. And apparently they've been, they've been dealing with this with people as well. Just people, people saying like, oh, you know, like I, I farmed all this, just get good. And the problem is this sets a really unrealistic expectation for a lot of players. So you'll have 
uh, content creators telling you like, oh, the ideal is, you know, five plus because I have it. And it's just not, it's not real. And it's really, it's not fair to a lot of players that are playing legitimately. You know, not everyone can play, can no life play this game. Telling them that like, they're telling them that their build is not, is not viable is just unrealistic. It's setting an unrealistic expectation. So again, you can, you can, you can't even save scum these, by the way. So the way it works is there's really no such thing as tr like a true RNG on, uh, on games. They use a seed number and it's because com computers are not really capable of true RNG. There's a seed number and usually that it's so for trans marvels, you can save scum it because what you could do is you can reset the seed number for trans marvels by doing a quest and cure. I think you might be able to do it by Luria's journal, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Curios, however, have their own seed, so you cannot save scum them. So it's just kind of, it's just kind of bad. And like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna cheat, which I don't understand why you would in like a one player game, like what's even the point? What's even the, like, what, what, what's even the point of getting, getting that loot, feeling good about yourself? if like, you didn't earn any of it, you know? And if you're gonna cheat, at least tell people you're cheating. You know, if you're like, I'm gonna cheat for science, just let just let everyone know you're cheating. Like, don't say like, oh, I'm just I'm just good. So, anyway, that's my take on it. Your build isn't bad. If you don't have supplementary damage five plus, you're not your build is not bad, and you're not a bad player is what I'm trying to say. So that's all I got. I play this game a lot. I stream on Twitch and YouTube, and uh, hope to see you guys there. New guys coming out soon. Peace out.